हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर मंजिरी वळसंकर डायरेक्टर भिडे हॉस्पिटल टेस्टिव्ह बेबी सेंटर नवी पेठ पुणे टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट अ व्हेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक पर्टेनिंग टू आय व्ही एफ कॅन पेशंट्स हू आर नॉट गेटिंग नॉर्मल मेन्स्ट्रल सायकल्स ॲट ऑल गेट प्रेग्नंट विच मीन्स द पेशंट डज नॉट गेट मेन्सेस ॲट ऑल सो शी कॅन बी अ यंग ॲडोलेसंट एज ग्रुप लेडी मे बी रेंजिंग अराउंड फिफ्टीन सिक्स्टीन इयर्स ऑफ एज हू हॅज नॉट गॉट मेन्सेस ॲट ऑल she can be a lady who is in a reproductive age group maybe between 25 to 40 years of age who was initially getting menses but now there is complete stoppage of menses and she does not bleed without taking in, uh, medicines from her gynecologist and the third subgroup is perimenopausal women who are in their 40s and yet want to conceive with ivf so the first group here which are adolescent girls if a girl does not get menses at all till 18 years of age it is extremely worrisome and there are a high chances that she may be a rare condition which is known as mrk syndrome with absent uterus or very small uterus because of which there is a congenital absence of uterus and this patient does not bleed unfortunately because this disorder is right from birth we really can't help this girl with test tube baby in her own uterus and surrogacy is the only way out in most or majority of the amenorrheic patients amenorrhea means stoppage of menses so in majority of the amenorrheic patients who are in their reproductive age group which means they have started menses at the normal time but now since last one or two years the patient is not getting menses at all or she is getting menses once every 6 months or she has to get menses only once she takes medicines from her gynecologist now this particular category of patients is still better to deal with because it is mostly because of hormonal imbalances and disorders such as pcod or pcos and these patients can be very well helped out by certain medications or injections or even ivf ixi technologies Now let's come to the third subgroup of amenorrheic patients who are perimenopausal say 45 46 years of age who are not getting menses because of perimenopausal age group and hormones being deficient now these patients have to be individualized around 10 to 20% of the perimenopausal women still have the capacity to conceive with test tube baby and the remaining may not so it is very important that if you are eager to get pregnant but if age is not on your side if your biological clock is ticking you need to visit your ivf consultant get your reproductive analysis done and if you are you still getting menses once in a while you are still a good candidate to try under the donor program ivf policy thank you